Hey everybody, this is James Darcy, James Van Prague, and I just dropped in out in front of my house here. I am fortunate to have a park. I call this my park. And I'm here with my little space girl, Maisie, my daughter Maisie May. She rescued me about mm, 10 years ago, and she's out here. She loves being outside, so I want to bring her out and share with you. Isn't it amazing how keen animals are? So watch Maisie, and she's very aware of the sounds that are going on and what's happening in the environment. So anytime you want to look at what's going on, look at your animals. So today I want to talk to you about exactly that, mindfulness. So what is mindfulness? You heard that term thrown around mindfulness the past several years. Well, mindfulness really, to me, is a sense of being uh, mindful, aware, and being so aware of present moment that you're not in the past and you're not in the future, but you're in this present moment now. And that's true mindfulness, being mindful of the moment. So look at Maisie, she's very mindful of the moment. She's not thinking about the past, things that have happened in her puppyhood, what happened yesterday, or even several minutes before. She's aware of right now. Animals are right now. There she goes, now she's smelling something else continuing on. And animals, of course, don't think of the future. They think about this present moment. So it's very important to realize that mindfulness is living in the moment. It's being part of this moment now. Past has happened, the future is yet to be. So all we have is this now. Eckhart Tolle talked about the power of now, which is really in living in this moment now. So I would like to work with you now in a sense of mindfulness, living in the moment. So when we're in a sense of mindfulness, we're not about the past, we're not about the future, about right now. So wherever you are, wherever you're sitting, just you can close your eyes and just be aware of what you feel, how the body feels. Just scan the body from the top of your head, the bottom of your feet. How does the body feel? Don't think about it, just feel it. Just feel the body, just feel the head area. What does it feel like within you? And you can explore that. Does it feel like there's a lot of energy there, that you're thinking too much, that you're stressed out about too many things, there are many things that are out of your control or not? Go down to your eyes, are you seeing properly? And I'm talking about seeing things clearly being aware of down the mouth and the teeth and what do you sense, what do you feel as you're in the moment and down to your throat and any sounds that you hear behind you or around you, even if you're hearing this video, just become aware of the sounds. I'm outdoor, so you'll hear a lot of outdoor sounds too. And even around you where you're watching this video, you'll hear sounds around you and outside of the room that you're in. Go down to the throat. What does that feel like? And remember, the blood is flowing all through there. There are tissues and cells and organs and fibers and down to the shoulders and the chest and down to your arms and to your hands and your fingers and down to your chest, your midsection, your stomach area, your torso, down to your, below your belly button there, pelvic area and your back, your lower back and also Feel the back itself, the top of the shoulders, all the way down the spine. What does that feel like? Any areas that pull you in, that you become more aware of than others. And don't try, just be, just be. Just feel just a lightness to it. And then down your legs, and then down to your toes, and feel the bottom of your toes. And just begin to feel the outside of your skin melding with the air the outside atmosphere. Good. And then you can also begin to breathe. So I want you to breathe in. As you breathe in, you're going to follow the breath all the way in, all that way into your feet. So you're going to inhale through your nose and follow the breath all the way down to your feet. So let's begin. And inhale. Slowly feel a little wind. Down to your throat, your lungs of course filled, but then all follow the breath all the way down to your torso, your legs to your feet and slowly exhale all of that out. From your feet all the way up, all the way out. And again, follow your breath and inhale. All the way down to your feet and slowly exhale. Releasing all that excess energy, let it go, good. And one more time and inhale. And slowly exhale. Good, and open up your eyes. So that's being mindful of the breath. And of course you can do that to a more extreme, more extensive, and give it more time as well. So it's just being present, in the present time being aware of what it feels like, what we sense about things. Um, and being mindful helps in so many different ways. Not only does it really calm down our, our system, our, our human systems, as far as the nervous system, circulation system, and so forth, but also works the mental energies too. We're not overthinking things and making the worst scenarios out of things. There's a nice sense of balance to it. 
So now I'd like to show you what it's like to do a mindful walk. So as we do this, number one, realize I'm outside, so you're going to hear a lot of ambient noises with children playing and lawnmowers and blowers and dogs and whatever happens, we're outside. So being mindful, a mindfulness walk would be totally connected to the ground. So I've used my bare feet, which I suggest you do. And what I'm going to do is, as you begin your mindfulness walk, you're just going to calm yourself down with this breath and breathe. Close your eyes and bring in the breath. All the way in and exhale. And breathing in. And exhale. And one more time, breathing in. And exhale. And a mindfulness walk begins with being totally aware of the bottom of your feet and how the bottom of your feet feel on the surface. So right now I'm aware of the grass underneath my feet. And as I begin my mindfulness walk, I want to be aware of my heels, then the middle of my sole of my foot, and then the final of the toes. And I'm beginning aware of the heel, the middle of the foot, and the, and the toes. And I begin to walk slowly, being aware of all of that happening at once. That's where are my awarenesses. Now you also might add, which I tend to add, that with each step there's an intention that I'm sending a light to Mother Earth, a connection, a sense of being rooted or grounded to Mother Earth. So I do that as well. I'm just aware of that. So it's a walking meditation, it's a walking mindfulness meditation. You don't want to rush it. And you might find, like I'm finding, that it's not level surface, that's fine, but I'm more aware. That's it. That's a mindfulness meditation. You can do that for three to five minutes. That's fine. I hear horses in the background. Isn't that wonderful? Being still and being aware of your total background listening. It's almost a sense when you're here and you're being mindful, you're of all the sounds outside of the spectrum of your body, just all around you. I hear the birds and you'll hear things so interesting far, far away. You can even hear sometimes the wind in the trees far away. So that's being mindful of, of your environment. Another way for you to, another technique I like to use during mindfulness is to use what I call a mantra. So when I breathe in, I'm sending an intention of breathing in pure love. And as I, all the way through my body, and as I exhale, I set the intention of releasing any fear, any negative energy, letting that go. So love in and fear out. That's the intention. So, and I also use a mantra, and my mantra is going to be, be still. And you can use whatever mantra you want. So I'll show you. Be still, be still, be still. Be still, be still, be still. Be still, be still, be still. And there you go. So try your own little technique and make up your own mantra. And please, of course, if you like some more suggestions, I love your suggestions for this YouTube channel, please put them below and like the channel. Thank you very much. Until next time.